So if you've been to our uh, Zoom Creative Mornings in the last almost year and a half, uh, we invite musicians to join our monthly events as a way to energize the room and create something like a musical fire to gather around, as uh, many of us in my time zone use this, use this moment to, to wake up and really get into, get into this place and space together. So, C.R. Avery, are you there? You are our featured musical guest today. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, so, C.R., a bit of an introduction. I, I done some reading and saw that you've been described as everything from a cultural magpie, who's impossible to pigeonhole, some bird references there, uh, a creative avalanche, who's a keen collaborator, uh, always pushing your art past the edge to see who'll catch it, so thank you for being here with us in the Creative Mornings community and pushing your art and hopefully we all catch what you throw at us this morning. How are you feeling? Are you, are you ready? Are you ready if I hand this over to you? Sure. Excellent. Welcome. And if we can all put claps in our Zoom squares. Start this rambling round Oh, this road I see You'll be sorrow bound Take my advice Or some mornings you'll curse the day You ever start rolling down lost highway You ever started rolling down This lost highway
another morning and he sad eternity she loves me she loves me not I'm just pulling petals from a flower that was store by maybe that's why it died soon after I brought it home I'm just going over this crime scene with a fine tooth comb in this world of wanna be Don Juan I'm weighing pros and cons All the amateur comics are trying to sound edgy walk a walk a walk -a. And all the nerds that are trying to sleep with Princess Leia Are trying to dress up as Chewbacca I flip a coin to see which is worse But it's not a matter of heads or tails I'm just trying to figure out who's trying to help me get off this island And who's trying to steal the wind from my sails in this world of wanna be done ones, weighing pros and cons. All the questions are loaded. The general public blush then grin Even the snow on the rooftops here They look like they were airbrushed in There's two naked lovers Top of the sheets after afternoon sex They're both peaceful like a street light by a famous player, Cineplex. In this world of wanna be Don Juan, just when pro. Another morning and he sat eternity. Invisible, invisible, invisible. Uh, horn section recording session at Red Light Studios. Scribble a few things down as they figure out who's flat and who's a little too close to the mic. Let them rehearse the riff a bit. The scribble will be like ice cubes placed directly on your brain, sonically cold as Dawson City snow. Oh, the moon is a jukebox, and tonight you add to its quarter consumption. The sass section is better with women. But tonight there are no women and your bank account is almost on empty. But Thursday you fly to Neil Young's high school years and blue note after hour impromptu screams of a salvation city. 
Winnipeg, where Muddy Waters was first brought into a hotel through the front door and welcomed on the marquee. Winnipeg, where Waters telephoned B.B. King, who was on his own tour from his Manitoba Best Western Suite, could have been a Holiday Inn, to notify B.B. how he'd been received up here in Canada. And that it was in fact muddy Mississippi waters that who, who who had won the bet against the black guest backdoor only entry policy in the inhumane civil war of united racism. After Mr. Waters hung up the phone, the young university dropout promoter of Muddy's concert informed Mr. Waters that Winnipeg actually means muddy waters in First Nations Creek the original language of this territory. Muddy sat silent, stared out the frosted window and smiled like a Buddha, a giant red forest tree. His ghost could still be found at the Armstrong International Airport, if you believe in that kind of hoodoo thing. Entry into this sci-fi subterranean swampland is paying your cabbie a triple fare from where you were staying's doorway to trying to drop off your luggage. It's insane, but let me explain. You're now out front of the Winnipeg's large automatic glass doors for domestic departures, lighting up a celebratory smoke before heading through to empty your pockets and remove your shoe, shoes rigmarole of security. Bam! There he was. Dressed immaculate, hair slicked, pompadour smooth, Cuban heeled, pointy black boots, a cool, calm, and collected ghost from the mighty Mississippi with his massive, undeniable presence before you. Standing in a sharp, dark blue, almost noir, tight fitting two piece suit, looking more, yes, I mean business, than all of the reservoir dogs put together. And all he said was, you here for a show? Yes. You blurted out like a premature word ejaculation or a voiceless stutter during a dream. He just smiled with his eyes sparkling off somewhere in the ether, then disappeared like a Royal Albert play fucking loud high bolt crack of long but rolling thunder, ending electri electrical storm. Gangster trumpeter, the gangster trumpeter from Bella Coola taps on the control room's glass, melting mute, signaling that the horn section is ready to take another pass at the tune. Simpsonelli, Red Light Studios engineer and troubleshoot hero, presses record. You rise to your feet like a wolf of subways, like a wolf of subways. Thank you. 